The first substance we're going to test is some red food dye and we'll see if this red food dye is soluble or insoluble. Okay, so if we put a couple of drops in, we only need a couple of drops of food dye because food, dry, food dye is very bright. Okay, and we know if something's soluble when once we've stirred it, you can still actually see through it. So this solution is still clear. You can still see through it even though it's got a color. So food dye, so you can see the spoon, food dye is most definitely soluble. Now, if we go to our second substance, let's change this over. This time we're gonna try some flour. Okay, so here we've got just normal white flour, white baking flour. If we put that in, we'll give it a stir. Okay, and what we're looking for, if flour is soluble, the solution should go clear after a little bit of stirring. So if we give that a good stir, there we go. Okay, now if you try and see the spoon, I can't see the spoon in there. I can't see through that solution. So flour is not soluble. Okay, it doesn't dissolve in the water. Let's go for our third substance. So if we look at our third substance, this time we'll use some salt. Okay, so here we have pink salt, rock salt that I've crushed up. So if we pour that in, we'll pour some salt in. Originally it heads to the bottom and looks like it's just sitting there. But if I stir it, you always gotta stir it before you can say if it's soluble or insoluble. What you'll notice is that after stirring, there's no more salt sitting on the bottom now. All the salt's disappeared. And the solution is still clear. I can see the spoon all the way through the solution. So that tells us that salt is actually soluble. All right, let's go to our fourth solution. Okay, we're gonna try our fourth solution now. And in this one, we're gonna try some sugar. So just some normal table sugar. So once again, sprinkle that in. If you watch it, it goes straight to the bottom. It looks like it's not dissolving. But as I mentioned before, you've always gotta give it a stir. You have to mix it up properly and then see if it dissolves. And what you'll notice is after giving that a stir for a few minutes, well, a few seconds actually, the solution's gone clear. I can't see the salt anymore. See, I can see the spoon all the way from front to back. Okay, so that is definitely soluble. Now if we go to the last solution, the last solution, we're gonna put in some baking soda. So this is a really fine powder, but it's another white powder. So let's tip that in. Remember, if you just don't stir it, it's not gonna look like it's soluble. We're not really sure, so we have to give it a stir. Make sure it mixes properly with the water. Now, baking soda is actually a substance called sodium carbonate. It's used in cooking. And if we give that a proper stir, once again, we can see that it is soluble. The solution's gone clear from front to back. So, okay, let's take one last look at all of our solutions. You can see with the red dye, I've actually put the bottle behind the glass and we can see it there through the glass. So that means the solution is still clear. So that is definitely soluble. Now with the flour, I've got the bag of flour behind the glass but you can't see the bag at all. Okay, so the flour has not dissolved, that is insoluble. If we go on to the sugar, uh, the salt, it's a bit hard to see that container, but I'll put a little red cap on it. Okay, you can see through the glass and you can see the salt container back there. Okay, so that tells you that the salt dissolved, um, it is soluble in water. We go on to the sugar, well look at that. We can see the sugar label very clearly through the liquid. So that is definitely soluble, it's gone clear. And the last one, the baking soda. Once again, you can see the baking soda box through the glass after the baking soda has been mixed in. So that is also soluble.